Well, the Senate moving closer to rolling back some aspects of the Dodd-Frank law. The legislation was passed, you remember, after the 28 to 2008 financial crisis that was caused by big banks, but it created costly red tape and un unfathomable amounts of regulations for small banks, which has held them back from giving out loans, which you might have noticed. Senate Banking Committee Chairman Mike Prapo, uh, who's negotiating the proposed deregulation bill with Democrats, joins us now in a Fox Business exclusive. Senator, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Charles. This is an, an amazing feat that uh, it's, it's one of these rare issues where there's a tremendous amount of bipartisan support. There's no doubt about it that Dodd-Frank really destroyed community banks and by extension Main Street America, right? Yeah, I agree with that. In fact, when Dodd-Frank was passed, I actually held a news conference in Boise, Idaho on Main Street. And I said, you know, this is said to be focused on Wall Street, but the real people who are going to get hurt are those on Main Street. I want to talk to you about this issue of bunching. Apparently, with community banks, you know, the, if you go past $10 billion in assets, you're no longer technically a community bank, and the, it becomes even more, more onerous, onerous rather. Uh, uh, consequently, from what I've read, 80% of community banks have stopped growing. That means that they're not lending money. Uh, 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 you know, we really hope that you get this through immediately so we can sort of open those spigots again. Oh, that, that's exactly right. In fact, I think that there actually haven't even been any new startup community banks uh, all year and, and last year either. I think that's the number. And we are losing community banks at a rapid rate. And it's primarily because of the regulatory burdens that are forcing them to be less competitive. Or the alternative is, which we also are seeing, they are just going out of certain models of business. For example, many of them simply are stopping uh, issuing mortgages. They just aren't doing mortgages anymore. Or sometimes though, you know, the, the community banks and credit unions are one of the places for credit and loans for our small businesses, which are the engine of our economy. And it's, the, it's really our small businesses and individuals who are the real victims of this terrible problem. Let me ask you about the uh, CFPB. Uh, just, uh, uh, just, uh, it's, you know, they were created almost like a sort of an alien out of space with, uh, with you know, only there's not not even kryptonite can stop. Them. I mean, they're independent. They, they don't answer to anyone and they're funded by the Federal Reserve. How do you dismantle that so we can get some real accountability? Well, unfortunately, this bill does not dismantle or correct a lot of the problems with the CFPB. I would love to have done that. But as you indicated at the beginning, uh, this is a bipartisan bill. It's a bill that achieves the doable in this Congress. And that's a lot. It does a tremendous amount of really good things. We were able to work on a few items that touched the CFPB uh, lightly. But the, the battle over whether to, and how to fix the CFPB is one that is still to come. Well, I tell you, I can thank you for uh, so many millions of Americans out there in, in the heartland and Main Street America. They want a loan. They want to start a business. After your work is done, they'll be able to do it. Senator Crapo, thank you very much. Thank you so much.